This morning I'm talking with David Johnson, who's the managing director with Abraxas Group. And your organization specializes in turnarounds, leverage buyouts, things like that. And of course, we've had a lot of things going on outside of our markets here in the U.S., but we're going to talk about something that maybe will be a nice diversion for people, and that is baseball. <laughs> Inside baseball, specifically the Chicago Cubs. Tell me a little bit. Absolutely. The Chicago Cubs are an interesting story in that the new ownership of the organization has done everything you would want in terms of turning around a failing organization. They've reset expectations. They have introduced a culture of winning. They're laying the groundwork for continued success. It's really kind of a textbook turnaround, and you don't see that in the sports world too often. And now we're not just talking about the actual baseball operations, the team on the field, but you're talking about the business side of the business. That's right. I know that for Chicago fans, especially Cubs fans who are long suffering, <laughs> there's yes, we are. there's an urge to get back to the baseball. But what struck me, struck me is that the Ricketts organization is really putting in place the necessary steps to reset the organization to succeed for the long term. And we're, there's a lot of other aspects to this. So, you know, there's the actual business operations such as uh, management of the organization, but they're involved in real estate, in advertising, all sorts of aspects. So why don't you drill down a little bit? Well, I think it's important to focus on the unit economics of a sports team. Sports teams that don't make money end up being failing sports teams. The Ricketts understood that and they are taking their PR hits to reset the economics of that team. Again, laying the groundwork for future success. It's painful for the fans right now, but for the long term, if you want to be part of and a fan of a successful organization, these are the steps that need to be taken. And now, baseball, obviously, it's a su super tradition-bound kind of a sport, sure. and they came in with a lot of new ideas. I mean, given that the Cubs didn't have lights till 1988, <laughs> so there was no night baseball at Wrigley Field till 1988. That was obviously a problem, something they really had to drill through and, and get through all those sort of traditional, traditionalists, let's use that word. That's I mean, right. that's exactly what it is. So how did they uh, approach that? How did they deal with that? Uh, I think the way that they deal with it, and I've seen Tom Ricketts speak, and I think that he, he touches on this very clearly. At the end of the day, it's a game, and at the end of the day, the point of the game is to win. So all traditional is, tradition aside, you want your team to win, and you make the changes necessary to allow your team to win over the long term. Well, of course, one tradition we do want to break is our losing tradition. So. <laughs> That's right. David, thanks for joining us this morning. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure.